Hi everybody, Ted Hinder with Quality Home Inspections and today I'm on this 10 year old home here in Middletown, Delaware and I did find a few things during the course of the heater inspection that we're going to recommend to have repaired by the seller. Uh, the first thing I noticed was that the exhaust pipe which is this white PVC pipe um, comes up and over and, and vents outside and that's basically where the exhaust fumes uh, travel through and vent to the exterior but right on this fitting right in this area uh, there is some moisture leaking through that. Uh, more importantly, I did pick up a carbon monoxide leak, and I'm reading about 16 parts per million of carbon monoxide coming out of that, that vent pipe. Um, also, where the vent pipe meets the motor, I found that um, right on the underside, it's also leaking uh, moisture, and I'm also picking up uh, 18 parts per million of carbon monoxide coming out of that fitting and um, that fitting itself is the one with the steel bands and the yellow cap it's it's leaking right at the top edge there uh, matter of fact it just dripped the also what I noticed was that the motor itself is kind of whining so that's usually an indication of, of wear and tear the condensation itself uh, has dripped on the moisture and you can see the base of the furnace you can see all the uh, rust stains so this this has been leaking for a while um, in addition, the condensate line for the heater that goes in the collector box, that's that red cap uh, that you're seeing there, that's the collector box. What that functionality of that is, is all the moisture and condensation drains into that box and then it's supposed to um, come out the heater, go around to the side, and then that white pipe that follows along, uh, that's, how, that's where it drains. So it's supposed to flow. and. Uh, drain into the French drain which catches the sump pump and the pumps going to take it outside but um, you know the collector box is so plugged with uh, sediment or junk that it's causing the backup in the clear tubing and I'm actually uh, about a foot from that black up that's how much water's laying in that white pipe so you know we're definitely gonna have to get that uh, repaired for the for the new buyer uh, in addition, the um, sight glass, you can see all the rust on the sight glass right there. Uh, let me pop this off a minute. One of the things I want to show you here, uh, the sight glass itself is, it has a gasketing material. And what that does is, is creates a uh, airtight seal between the uh, firebox and the front of the furnace. Um, it's pretty well worn. This side over here, it's going to be a little difficult to see, but this side here is um, ripped off. You can see in the top corner. And most of it is right around the uh, frame of the firebox or, you know, where the in-shot burners are. So, you know, that's going to have to be repaired because that's basically going to keep the uh, carbon monoxide from sneaking out of the furnace. So, put that back on there. Um, so, you know, just a few things we did find, uh, you know, with the heater. And, again, this is an 8-year-old furnace with, with a few issues that we're going to recommend have repaired uh, or at least further evaluated by a licensed contractor and let them make the determination, uh, you know, what other items are going to need to be uh, taken care of. So just wanted to point those out. Thanks for watching. This is Ted Hinder with Quality Home Inspections.